Have you ever wondered what's really in your baby's formula and how it could be affecting their health in the long run? Formula is designed to mimic the nutrient profile of breast milk. It includes proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals that are essential for the baby's growth and development. However, in the US, many baby formulas contain ingredients like corn syrup, sucrose, soy protein isolate, and palm oil. These ingredients are widely used because they are cost-effective, easy to produce, and they're shelf-stable. Research shows that high fructose corn syrup is a major contributor to fatty liver disease and it messes with the liver's ability to regulate blood sugar. This can lead to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, yes, even in children. A 2021 study found that added sugars and formulas contribute to rapid weight gain in infants, which sets the stage for childhood obesity. By choosing formulas with lactose instead of added sugars, parents can help prevent obesity and metabolic issues for their little babies later in life. So what should you do as a parent? Here are some actionable steps to make the best choice for your baby. First, Have you ever wondered what's really in your baby's formula and how it could be affecting their health in the long run? For many of us, that bottle is a go-to solution when breastfeeding isn't an option. But do you know what's actually inside that formula? From hidden sugars to questionable additives, the ingredients in U.S. formulas are drastically different from their counterparts in other parts of the world. Today, we're diving into the science behind these differences, the health risks that they might pose, and what every parent should know to make the best, most informed choice for their baby's health. So let's dive right in. Welcome back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. I'm your host, human biologist, Gary Brecka, and today we're tackling a topic that every parent and health enthusiast should know about baby formula. The choices we make in early nutrition can really set the stage for lifelong health. Did you know that ingredients in baby formula vary significantly between the United States and other parts of the world? Today, we're going to break down what's inside the bottle, why it matters, and the potential health risks linked to some of the common ingredients in U.S. formulas. Let's break it down. Let's start with a basic question. What exactly is baby formula? Formula is designed to mimic the nutrient profile of breast milk. It includes proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals that are essential for the baby's growth and development. However, while formula is meant to provide the best substitute for breast milk, the quality and safety of these ingredients can vary widely, especially based on where you are in the world. In the U.S., many baby formulas contain ingredients like corn syrup, sucrose, soy protein isolate, and palm oil. These ingredients are widely used because they are cost-effective, easy to produce, and they're shelf-stable. However, these ingredients can be problematic for infant health over time. On the other hand, many European formulas are held to stricter regulations. Organic and clean label ingredients are prioritized and potentially harmful additives like carrageenan and synthetic preservatives are avoided at all costs. European formulas are designed to more closely replicate the nutrient profile of breast milk with fewer additives, fewer preservatives, and artificial components. Today, we're going to break down why these differences matter and what you need to know as a parent when choosing your formula for your child. Let's talk about America versus the rest of the world and what are some of the key differences. High fructose corn syrup and added sugars. Let's start with one of the most concerning ingredients in many U.S. formulas, high fructose corn syrup, or HFCS. High fructose corn syrup and sucrose are used in many formulas to provide energy. The problem is that these sugars, while quick to give an energy burst, are linked to several long-term metabolic problems. Research shows that high fructose corn syrup is a major contributor to fatty liver disease and it messes with the liver's ability to regulate blood sugar. If this sounds alarming, it should be. This can lead to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, yes, even in children. Now, in Europe, High fructose corn syrup and sucrose are banned or severely limited in baby formulas. Instead, formulas in Europe rely on lactose, the primary sugar found in breast milk. Lactose provides a steady, balanced energy supply without disrupting the metabolic process or contributing to obesity and insulin resistance. The second is soy protein isolate and phytoestrogens. This ingredient is often used in U.S. baby formulas for babies who have milk allergies, but soy contains something called phytoestrogens. These are plant-based compounds that can mimic estrogen in their little bodies. Studies have even shown that prolonged exposure to high levels of phytoestrogens during infancy could potentially disrupt hormonal development and brain development. More concerning, research suggests that soy-based formulas could influence the timing of puberty and even lead to reproductive issues later in life. 
In Europe, soy protein isolate is typically used under medical guidance and is not the first choice for infant formulas. That's an important distinction. European formulas prioritize whey and casein proteins, which are closer to breast milk and easier for babies to digest. These proteins also have more natural composition and don't carry the same hormonal risk associated with soy. Palm oil is another one, and its impact on nutrient absorption needs to be examined. So let's talk about palm oil, which is a common fat source in the U.S. While palm oil is inexpensive and stable, studies have shown it reduces calcium absorption, which can lead to weaker bones in infants, and it also causes gastrointestinal discomfort in a lot of babies, leading to gas, bloating, and digestive upset. In Europe, palm oil is restricted or avoided, and healthier alternatives, like some dairy-based proteins and dairy-based fats, are preferred. This can not only promote better calcium absorption, but they can also reduce the risk of gastrointestinal distress. Plus, they're more in line with the fat composition found in breast milk, making them a healthier choice for babies. Next, let's dive into carrageenan a thickening agent used in some U.S. formulas to improve texture and shelf life. Carrageenan is linked to gastrointestinal inflammation, irritable bowel syndrome, and digestive issues, which is especially concerning for infants with developing digestive systems. Additionally, many U.S. formulas contain artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives, which definitely disrupt the microbiome and the immune system development. In Europe, carrageenan is actually banned because of its potential to cause inflammation. European formulas focus on clean label ingredients, using natural preservatives and avoiding artificial additives that can harm infant health. Less is more in Europe, and formulas are designed to mimic the natural composition of breast milk. Let's break down some of the research backing these concerns. The impact of added sugars on metabolism. A 2021 study found that added sugars in formulas contribute to rapid weight gain in infants, which sets the stage for childhood obesity. By choosing formulas with lactose instead of added sugars, parents can help prevent obesity and metabolic issues for their little babies later in life. Second are hormone disruptors, mainly found in soy. Research has shown that prolonged exposure to phytoestrogens in soy formulas can delay puberty in males and accelerate puberty in females, which can have long-term consequences on brain development and reproductive health. So what should you do as a parent? Here are some actionable steps to make the best choice for your baby. First, research ingredients. Look for formulas that use lactose as the primary form of sugar and avoid those with high fructose corn syrup or maltodextrin. Check for natural DHA, ARA sources and avoid hexane extracted oils like seed oils. Prioritize quality certifications. Opt for USDA organic or EU organic certified formulas. These are certifications that ensure higher standards and avoid certain harmful additives. Look for probiotics and prebiotics. Choose formulas that include probiotics or prebiotics which support a healthy gut microbiome and immune development. Consult your pediatrician. Always talk to your pediatrician if you have concerns about your baby's formula. They can provide advice on specific baby needs. And finally, understand international regulations. If you're considering European formulas, make sure they meet FDA import standards for U.S. use. European formulas are held to higher safety standards, but you should still ensure that they're legally approved for U.S. use. Choosing the right formula for your baby is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make especially as a parent. With the knowledge about the ingredients and regulations in the U.S. versus the rest of the world, you can make informed decisions that support your baby's health and well-being. By prioritizing formulas with clean ingredients, minimal additives, and natural sources of nutrients, you can help ensure your baby gets the best start possible. Thanks for tuning in today to the Ultimate Human Podcast. If you found this episode valuable, share it with other parents, and be sure to check out the resources we've discussed today. Keep making informed choices on your family's health. After all, it starts with what's in the bottle. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your baby's nutrition. Stay curious, always ask questions, and make decisions based on what's best for their long-term health. And that's just science.